Here we are loading the first truck. He's getting it ready to be unloaded. It's cold up here today. December 21st, 2009. And the lull to pick it up. We're heading way over there. That's the hill. To Bob Valentine, unloading the very first pallet. He's good. Got about six, eight inches. Here you go. And the first pallet heading down to the storage area. Bob's doing a nice job, man. He's good with this thing. I'm glad I didn't have to do it. That was an option, by the way. Pretty tricky. I know, it's a little tricky, though, when you have to wing that thing around. See how he has to turn it around? Awesome. You can see our storage area is not very big, so we're going to have to do some stacking. But we have the right guy on the machine, that's for sure. Very nicely done. Very nice. You know, I almost sent cars up there to park the lot. Really? Room. Yeah, yeah. Almost done charged up there last night, and I'm like, ah, uh, some builders get kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the first pallet is down. He accidentally, he accidentally hit the unit just a tiny bit when he was coming into this one. He said, oh, shit, that's not finished with you. I said, oh, well, yeah, it's clear cedar inside. It's finished with <laughs> Why? What'd you do? <laughs> the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Heart check, you know. Oh yeah, it went up. Just getting to unloading that first one. Truck driver. <laughs> that thing got. Truck number two.
All right, coming in for a landing here. I'm going to put him right on top of these. I wanted to get that video last week, but it was a little overcast. It's still a little bit overcast today, but you have a better look at the view. That is actually the way to the ocean. Right out there over those mountains, that is the Pacific Ocean. On a clear day, you can see it right there. But it's, and actually, you can see it. You see the mountain in the distance, or the, the um, island in the distance? You do see the ocean. It just looks like part of the clouds. It's right above those bumps, those little mountains. That's ocean right there. Pretty amazing, as far away as we are from the ocean that you can see it. Here's the first of some of the finished wood. The finished beams are going in. We're going to put that on the top stack there. It would have been nice if those trees had been taken out. And here is Stuart Hartley to check on the uh, progress of moving this house to a house. That's what we've done so far. Get that corner looking kind of full. So this is the way in. You see the driveway there. It comes straight at us. As you see this drop off, this is actually the level of the house. And as you look across, you actually see in the distance another Lindahl right there. Can you guys see that? Move over here a little bit, you see the green metal roof. There's another Lindahl right across the valley. But of course a lot lower than we are. That's okay. Let's see what these guys are doing. Stewart is taking all the glass, the doors, and putting it into his pickup flatbed. And here's the last part of truck number one. Brian's bringing some blocking for these last studs that are coming over here. The stud, bringing the studs. And then we're going to go to truck number two right up here. Start taking that sucker down. Let's put this right up against here. Here comes the Gestapo telling us to hurry up. And here comes truck number two. The first one took three hours, but it had all the glass and all the windows and all the sunroof. This truck has the plywood, the studs, the pressure treated, so we can just bang these right off. We're looking at maybe an hour, hour and ten minutes to get this unloaded, and then we can uh, wrap it up. Here comes Brian running to get the blocking here. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. We bought this. Right there. Build during the rainy season here in San Diego, California, in the foothills. Can you tell us more about the aggregate, sir? This will allow us to build during rainstorms with a beautiful heavy material lingo. Structure sound. And beautiful. There you go, another happy Lindahl customer. And we haven't even opened anything yet. We love her. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> I got a big present for Christmas! <laughs> I can do six years for this. Six years and Christmas time, the house is here. We're waiting Santa's for that. Work, Santa's workshop up there in Lindahl and Nesquah was very busy for the last uh, Oh, yeah. They were they were just uh, cobbling away. There's a little else up there in Issaquah. All right, I don't know what they're waiting for. Oh, they're unstrapping it. That should, that should take about an hour. It's all big stuff. Right here. It
couple of homes in the area. That one burned down the same time this one did. But the fire skipped that house for some reason. See the trees still have a little black in them. It's been six years too. And steep down the hill, you really won't get the feel for the steepness of this, but it's a 